ten children. Welcome to our English lesson. This lesson focuses on unit three of your grade ten textbook. We are going to practice finding specific information from a reading text. Children, we did one lesson in unit one to practice this same skill, and there we read notices. Today, let's learn how to practice the same skill in detail and find specific information from longer texts such as articles. Let's start the lesson. Children, sometimes in our day-to-day -day lives, we have to read for specific information. Since you have a very specific goal in mind, when you read for specific information, you only read the relevant parts and ignore the rest of the articles. Let's take an example situation from your real life. For example, if you want to know what's on TV tonight, you will not read the program listed for the whole week. You will only find the relevant part that is the program for that particular day and time and read. When you sit for the exams also, the time pressure forces you to find specific information quickly. So practicing reading for specific information helps in both real life and exam situations. Let's see how you can find specific information quickly. There are some guidelines to help you do it better. First, you have to know what you are looking for. So you can use questions to guide your reading. For example, if you are looking for a certain date, only focus on numbers in the text. Then use text features that is highlighting, bold text, color and type variations to support your reading. And then as soon as your eye catches an important word or phrase, stop and read that part of the text very carefully. Children, now let's practice finding specific information with a very simple activity. Let's read part of an article and practice this skill. This is the text. It is a part of an article in activity 8 on page 28 of your textbook. It's an article about the origin of the wheel. You can see a picture of the wheel too. This is your activity. Can you find these words in the article within one minute? You can pause the video, read the article and find the words, but you can take only one minute. Okay, how was it? Could you do it within the given time? Let's see. What about the first word, circular? Where is it? It's in line four. Second one, it's wooden. Yes, it's in line 5. Then Sanskrit. Children, did you notice the capital S here? That's because it's a proper noun. It's a name of a language. I'm sure the capital letter helped you to find the word quickly. It's in line 7. Next one is a number. That's the only number in the text. So it's very easy to locate it. It's in line 9. What about the last one? Again, it's a proper noun. What's the line number? Yes, line 10. Okay, children. Although it was a simple activity, you found specific information in an article. Now, let's do another activity. Here you are going to read the second part of the same article from your textbook to find specific information. Before we read the article, let's see what you have to find this time. This time you have four questions. Read the questions first. Now look at the first one. Who invented wheels with spokes? The question word is who. So your answer refers to a person or people. Now the second one. When did they use spokes in the wheels first? Here the question word is when. So what about your answer? So your answer should be a year. 
or it can be a month, a day or date or even a specific time. What about the third one? What's the question? When was the wire tension spoke introduced to the wheel? You already know what to look for as the question word is familiar as it is same as the earlier one. Yes. A year, month, day or date or even a specific time. Now the last one. It's once again like the first one. Who possesses the patent for the wire tension spoke? It's like the first one. You already know what to look for when the question word is who. Okay. Here are the next two paragraphs. As I told you earlier, this is the second part of the article on page 28 of your textbook. You can pause the video, read and find the answers to the four questions now. Let's check your work now. Okay children, the first question. Who invented wheels with spokes? What is the answer? The Egyptians. Now the second one, when did they use spokes in the wheels first? Could you find the answer? The answer is in 2000 BC, it's a year. Let's check the third one now. When was the wire tension spoke introduced to the wheel? What is the answer? In 1802, look at the question word when? So this is also a year. Now the last question. Who possesses the patent for the wire tension spoke? G.F. Bar is the name of the person who possesses the patent. Hope you could get it done correctly. Children, in your O-level paper, you have six reading questions. In some of these questions, you have to read for specific information. So let's do a past paper question now. Look at this question. This is a question from 2016 all level paper. You have to read this passage and answer the questions. You can read these questions before reading the text. There are four questions. If you are not familiar with the question words, use this as a guide. Then pause the video, go back to the reading text and answer the questions. Let's check your answers now. Let's start with the first question. Who did the man see at the doctor's place? What is the answer? He saw the doctor's assistant. You can write the doctor's assistant or even his assistant. What about the second? What did the assistant ask the man to do? He asked the man to sit. Now the third one. Here you have to pick a sentence from the passage and write. Which sentence did you write? You have to write, it's my wife who has the headache, not me. Here you won't get marks if you write a part of the sentence. You need to write the complete sentence. Let's look at the last question. I'm sure you could find the answer very easily. Yes. The answer is B, alone. Hope you got all the answers correct. Children, with that past paper question, we mark the end of today's reading lesson. In this lesson, we practiced an important reading skill, that is how to read for specific information. Next time, we'll do a vocabulary lesson on using affixes. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please subscribe to this channel. Goodbye.